Hey, Nate. How's life? I don't know. It's all right. I've been dealing with some things like every human being and really didn't sleep much last night. I'm sorry. That's fine. I just think I need a little me time. I just think I need a little free time. A little break from the shows and the bus rides. Yeah. Last year I had a breakdown. Thoughts telling me I'm lost, getting too loud. Had to see a therapist and I found out. Something funny's going on up in my house. Yeah, started thinking maybe I should move out. You know, pack my car, take a new route. Clean up my yard, get the noose out. Hang up my heart, let it air out. Air out. I've been searching. What does that mean, Nate? I've been learning. Grabbing my keepsakes, leaving my burdens. Well, I brought a few with me. I'm not perfect. Looking at the view like... Like this concerns me, picking up the cues, right? I'm quite nervous, hating when I lose sight. Life gets blurry and things might hurt me. It's probably gonna be a long journey, but hey! It's worth it though, cold world out there. Kids, grab your coat. It's been a minute, I know, now I'm back to Rome. Looking for the antidote to crack the code. Pretty vivid, I admit it, I'm in classic mode. The only pity given to me, but I can't condone. Talking down to me, I'ma have to crack your nose for cracking jokes. I'm looking for the map to hope, you see that? Been making a whole lot of changes. Wrote a song about that, you should play it. I get scared when I walk on these stages, I look at the crowd and see so many faces yeah that's when i start to get anxious that's when my thoughts can be dangerous that's when i put on my makeup and drown in self-hatred forget what i'm saying and where the beat go oh ain't that something drums came in you ain't see that coming hands on my head can't tell me nothing got a taste of the fame and upon my stomach throw it back up like i don't want it wipe my face clean up my vomit ocd trying to push my buttons i said don't touch it now y'all done it i can be critical never typical Every syllable, I'm a criminal Intimate but never political, pretty visual Even if you hate it, I make you feel like you're in it though You call me what you want, but never call me forgettable Leave deep and dollar, can never swim in the kiddie pool Wait it, I've been thinking the cinematic is beautiful Man, I don't know if I'm making movies or music videos Videos, videos Yeah, the sales can rise, doesn't mean much though When your health declines See, we've all got something that we trapped inside That we try to suffocate, you know, hoping it dies Try to hold it underwater, but it always survives And it comes up out of nowhere like an evil surprise Then it hovers over you to tell you millions of lies You don't relate to that? Must not be as crazy as I am The point of thinking is the mind is a powerful place and what you feed it can affect you in a powerful way it's pretty cool right yeah but it's not always safe just hang with me this will only take a moment okay just think about it for a second if you look at your face every day when you get up and think you'll never be great you'll never be great not because you're not but the hate will always find a way to cut you up and murder your faith i'm developing take a look at the benefits nothing to matter with i can never be delicate my irrelevant that depends on you measure it take a measurement to back it up and give me the evidence pretty evident dependable can never be tentative i'm a gentleman depending on if i think you're genuine pretty elegant but not afraid to tell you to get it grip my etiquette, I keep it to myself when I celebrate, huh? huh? It's that time again, but it grab your balloons and invite your friends. See, bounce back on, yeah, strap them in. Look at me, everybody, I'm smiling big. On a road right now that I can't predict. Tell me, tone that down, but I can't resist. Y'all know that sound, better raise your fist. The search begins, I'm back, so enjoy the trip, huh? huh?
if you smell what the rock is cooking. The rock says. WrestleMania over, it is now time for the backlash. Welcome to the WWE Wrestling Talk Show with Lisa Rock Jones and Sean Randy Smith. As Michael said, WrestleMania is now in the rear view, and it's now time to deal with the backlash. Oh, WWE, why have you, have you come up with that sort of catchphrase for it? Well, it's always been the backlash to WrestleMania, the fact that they've never called it. WrestleMania backlash before is just never right. apparently. It will come at you from the Wyoming Center in Tampa, Florida, behind closed doors once again due to COVID nineteen. Yes, despite the fact that WrestleMania took place from Raymond James Stadium in front of a live audience. The first time since March twenty twenty. For the next couple of months, at least, WWE returns to the Thunderdome. Yes. Now, we should point out that this is probably not the finalised match card for Backlash, because due to a certain someone being unavailable, Yes, me. We are recording this slightly earlier than we would normally do so. So we'll start off with our supposed first match. Don't forget these matches are in no particular order. This card is subject to change. Yes. Uh, At WrestleMania, on the opening match of Night 1... Bobby Lashley with a little bit of assist from MVP defeated Drew McIntyre in the WWE Championship match. So when I, the, next, the next night on uh, Raw, MVP comes out and says that no one can beat Lashley. McIntyre comes out to dispute that and says that he was the cause of distraction of MVP, and uh, Lashley would have been hit with a claymore. And he, wants, and he wants to have one more opportunity. This then brings out Randy Orton and Braun Strowman. 
<laughs> and the three individuals. It's the challenges of the WWE Championship. Compton then, in what is almost a rinse and repeat move at this point, the WWE official Adam Pearce come out and make a triple threat match between Braun Strowman, Randy Orton and Drew McIntyre where the winner will face Bobby Lashley at Backlash for the WWE Championship. That match was won by Drew McIntyre. However, however, two weeks ago on the April 26th episode of Raw, Braun Strowman challenged Drew McIntyre to a match where if he won, he would be added to the championship match. Making it a triple threat match, which Strowman did actually do. Yes. So, at Backlash, we will have a triple threat match for the WWE Championship as the almighty WWE Champion Bobby Lashley defends against the Scottish psychopath Drew McIntyre and Braun Strowman of the Strowman Express. Now, the debate here is why was Strowman even put into this match when he's not booked, he's not booked or really positioned as a world champion. The only reason uh, he was even universal champion last year was because Mr. Head of the Table had to uh, go away for a while. Yes, due to 19 reasons. And apart from murder and Shane McMahon of WrestleMania, <laughs> what has he done? So, my thinking is that Strowman is in this match as a person to take the fall. Yeah. Where, whether that be McIntyre winning or lastly retaining. Because, as is typically the case, sometimes you want to keep certain individuals strong, as was the thought of WrestleMania when uh, we thought that Roman might lose the, tit- the Universal title without actually losing. We will get on to him in a moment. Yes, now I move on to a match that has been brewing since this year's Royal Rumble match for the women. Really before that. Ever since January, well, tech, going back slightly earlier than that, really, ever since Bianca Belair was drafted to SmackDown, there has been a bubbling issue between her and Bailey. Put on hold slightly with Bailey's issue with Sasha Banks. Then this year we started out with obstacle courses and arm wrestling matches. We didn't run hello segments. <laughs> and of course the Royal Rumble match in which Bianca Belair eliminated Bailey from the Rumble match would go on to win it. And then would uh, go on to night two, night one of WrestleMania, become SmackDown Women's Champion. Now, Din Don Hello has decided she wants her title back. Yes, she does. Even even resorting to attacking Bianca Belair on the latest edition of a throwback SmackDown. Now, oh, this is how I see this. Despite 
you, despite the few months interruption of Sasha Banks, Bailey has been women's champion for the better part of a year and a half combined. Whilst Bianca Bella has not long won the title. Yes, and at the moment, touch wood, Bianca Bella is one of few NXT superstars to be called to the main roster that has not been fucked over yet. Pardon our language. <laughs> <laughs> We're now going to move over to Speaking of NXT We have a former NXT Women's Champion in action now Two and actually a... No, three actually Three, three former NXT Women's Superstars When originally it was meant to be two WWE So On night two of uh, WrestleMania Rhea Ripley, who had challenged Asuka a few weeks before, defeated her to win the Raw Women's Championship. Making history, becoming the first woman to hold the NXT Women's Championship, the NXT UK Women's Championship, and the Raw Women's Championship. Now, the night after WrestleMania, Charlotte Flair returns with a slightly different attitude. Shock. <laughs> going on about how fans go on about Charlotte's, Charlotte's given opportunity after opportunity, steals opportunity, and she doesn't deserve the chances that she gets. Where have we heard that before? Oh, yeah, that's right, John Cena. And we all know the reason why Flair was off WrestleMania is because she had COVID-19 and wasn't allowed to compete. Yes, because Charlotte originally challenged Asuka back when they were being buddy buddies over the tag team titles. Yeah. But Asuka did not get a... Uh, Charlotte, I should say, did not get an answer which allowed Ripley to swipe in, which... Charlotte is basically calling Ripley an opportunist. So, this is how this goes. The night after WrestleMania, we were were supposed to get a WrestleMania rematch for the uh, Raw Women's Championship. Only for Charlotte to get involved and spoil the fun. After being reinstated by WWE official Sonya Deville. Skipping head there slightly. Oh yes, I'll rewind that back. (laughs) Then we go to the week after the, the night after WrestleMania, where we have Asuka taking on Charlotte. In which Asuka won after a distraction from the Ripley. After this match, Charlotte goes berserk and starts attacking the Ripley. Again, where have we seen this before? Forcing a suspension from Adam Pearce. However, Little Miss Deville, who is yet to return to England competition since taking up the role of backstage official, reinstated Charlotte after having Charlotte be a uh, to a public apology. To not only the WWE Universe, but to the official she attacked. Then we go to uh, then we go to another rematch being made for the uh, Raw Women's Championship, in which 
Sonia Deville added Charlotte to the match. Making uh, this another triple flag match for the uh, raw side. Yep. Now, uh, this outcome worries me. It does the same here, and it worries me too. Like, like fans are going to be in an uproar if Charlotte walks out as champion here. Yes. Asuka, not so much, but she's held the title for the better part of last year. And Ribri, the fact that Ripley's already beaten Asuka, a story that needs to almost revolve around here, should date back to last year's WrestleMania. Should. When uh, after winning the Royal Rumble match and Rhea Ripley making a uh, brief appearance on the main roster as NXT Women's Champion, the two collided at WrestleMania in a 36, aka COVID 19 or Corona Mania <laughs> 1 2. <laughs> And there it, there, it was almost where a, start, a downward spiral started to play when he lost the title to Charlotte. He at WWE is starting to, by the looks of it, build Ripley to uh, where she was and what she should be. And the best way of doing that would be to have her all the same the title. I think WWE would be crazy to launch two, or attempt at least, to launch two women by having them both win the title at WrestleMania, only to have them both lose them a month later. Yeah, but when WWE do things, WWE done things uh, logically, I don't know, but he did about 20 years ago. <laughs> so, now we move to another match. Where it will be for the SmackDown Tag Team titles, as the Dirty Dogs, known as Dolph Ziggler and Robert Roode, defend, it, defend them against the father and son team of Ray and Dominic Mysterio. Yes, hopefully we will have some history-making activities here. For the for the past several months, really for the entire build of the WrestleMania road, Rey Mysterio has been talking about wanting to hold tag team gold with his uh, son. Really, the only complaint about this match, especially if it goes the outcome that uh, we all want, wanted to hope it will and are really expecting it will. My only complaint is that this match probably should have happened at WrestleMania instead of doing the Fatal 4 way they did on the SmackDown before. Yeah. And, and of course the history would be that if they win, hopefully when they win, they and Dominic Mysterio will become the first Alpha Sun duo to become tag team champions. Yes. Now we have a match that's stemmed that has kind of stems with a bit of rivalry and a bit of story. Yes. As the table puts his universal title on the line against Cesaro. First of all, let's rewind it to WrestleMania. Yes. The Roman Reigns 
walks out of WrestleMania as uh, your Wrestle Champion. Cesaro walked out of WrestleMania victorious. Yes. Then we have Cesaro come out and say he wants a Universal title shot. Roman Reigns and Jey Uso and Seth Rollins basically all come out saying we don't deserve one. Daniel Bryan then comes out to make sure that uh, nothing uh, bad happens. And and in the and in the like week or two afterwards, he gets another Universal Championship match with a stipulation on it. Yes. Daniel Bryan was given one more Universal Championship match on the April 30th episode of SmackDown. Two weeks ago, in a title versus career match, in which if Daniel Bryan lost, he would be banished from SmackDown. And guess what? Daniel Bryan lost, which means he was banished from SmackDown. Not just that, not just that, so. I was going to say, not just to see Bannett from SmackDown, afterwards, with, with Cesaro tied up in the ropes, Roman Reigns hit Daniel Bryan with a concerto, which seems to be, at least at the moment, signifying the end of his contract with WWE. Yes, because the rumours going around was that after his match with Roman Reigns, everyone's contract expired, so which means he is now a free agent. And appropriately, his uh, contract has supposedly ran out on May the 4th be with you. <laughs> what a coincidence. Now, given the fact that... His father-in-law, or his step-father-in-law, is John Laurinaitis, people power. Oh, people power. No, no. <laughs> and that his wife is a WWE Hall of Famer, who yes, Brie Bella, who I believe still works on the WWE as an ambassador. The chances are this is this is not the last we have seen of uh, Daniel Bryan in WWE. So whether negotiations have been happening behind the scenes of some kind of new contract that has either been signed or yet to be signed and that Daniel Bryan just wants to take a bit of time off who knows who knows but that also leads to a match which took place this past week on a throwback episode of Smackdown a Wrestlemania rematch with Seth Rollins taking on Cesaro in which a returning face by the name of Terry Long revealed that if Cesaro won he would get the Universal Championship match at WrestleMania Backlash, or Backlash as it's called. Yes. Uh, 
a few little deciding factors in this. Person personally, I don't see Roman Reigns losing the Universal Title before Handshake. before SummerSlam at this point. Handshake. And then you have to factor in the outside figures. I don't think it's Seth Rollins and Tazawa it's who is done yet. And you've always got to bear in mind the fact with um, Jay Uso and Paul Heyman. And not just Jay anymore. Now you need to factor in Jimmy as well. And yes, because what... Jimmy returned on, on this past week's edition of Throwback Smackdown. And also, what part exactly he will play in this uh, factor, because it was all, it was, it, in, in a small kind of way, it was Jimmy's fault that Cesaro lost in the Wonder Man just to begin with. Yes. So whether he's going to join the pact like Jay and uh, Roman or whether they're going to try to split up the Usos as a tag team for now or whether this is going to be the beginning of the end, the end of, of the uh, reign of terror of Roman Reigns. Switching back to Monday Night Raw. And again, another issue stemming from WrestleMania. Well, technically this stems back, I would say, slightly further. Kind of stems back all the way to the Rumble. As Damien Priest takes on The Miz. Yeah, so... This dates back really all the way to Bad Bunny being in the Royal Rumble. Or at the Royal Rumble, and Damien, Survivor Series, I think it was? It was Royal Rumble. And Damien oh. Priest uh, get, getting called up. Getting called after the main roster. From but NXT. The Miz being jealous over Bad Bunny's uh, design. <laughs> Let's say the <laughs> career and the fact that he was getting. Uh, a little bit more in attention than uh, the Miz was. Mm-hmm. Resulted in some back and forth slap talking. Slam talking, I should say. And then we would get a challenge made by. The Miz to a match at WrestleMania between The Miz and Bad Bunny. Uh-huh. This would then be up to a tag team match with Damian Priest teaming up with uh, Bad Bunny against The Miz and John Morrison in what was the, the best celebrity match I have ever seen. Yes, credit to Bad Bunny for actually being pretty good. But then the issue has not been made to last because uh, Damien Priest and uh, the Miz are continuing to go at each other, involving Maurice in some stages to promote Miz and Mrs. Yeah. And then, Don Morrison has also been, been thrown into the middle of this with several matches against Damian Priest on Raw. The most previous, uh, latest would decide the stipulation for this uh, match at Backlash. Yes. Because we all know the Miz likes to run away from things. He does. So after... Damien Priest won his match against John Morrison, and The Miz tried to attack Damien Priest and run away. Priest then headed to the office of Adam Pearce and demanded a Lumberjack match. Yes, bring superstars from Raw, bring superstars from SmackDown, beaming me in some down up in space, he doesn't care. 
just wants to make sure that there is no place for the Miz to run. And Miz, I would be worried if I were you. I don't remember what happened when you were last in a Lumberjack match. Yes, I remember Miz, you were going up against a former NXT North American champion. Yes, but thankfully this time he's not going up against the Almighty. <laughs> so let's run it through the match card one more time. And don't forget, this match card is subject. As it stands, Bobby Lashley will defend the WWE Championship in a triple threat match against Drew McIntyre and Braun Strowman. Bianca Belair will defend her SmackDown Women's Championship against Bing Dong, hello, in Bailey. Rhea Ripley will defend the Raw Women's Championship, also in a triple threat match against Asuka and Charlotte Flair. The Dirty Dogs of Paul Ziggler and Robert Roode will defend their SmackDown Tag Team Championships against the father and son team of Dominic and Rey Mysterio. The head of the table, Roman Reigns, will defend the Universal Championship against the Swiss Superman and Cesaro. And Damien Priest will take on The Miz in a Lumberjack match. Now, as to what could possibly be added on tomorrow night's episode of uh, Smackdown. Smackdown. We are looking at me, I would say a possible tag team match with Kevin Owens and Big E against uh, Black Panther and his little associates. <laughs> Black Panther in Apollo Crews and Commander Aziz, otherwise known as Baba Tunde. Then we are also looking at a possible women's tag team championship match with uh, Eva, Shayna Baszler and Nia Jax against Mandy Rose and Dana Brooke. Brooke or against Tamina and Natalia, which seems which seems to be uh, unsettled after WrestleMania. Yes. So, so that is our pre-show for Backlash. What do you mean? There's so many of Backlash. No, no, that name. No, 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 still not accepting that name, but still. So join us next week when we give you our reactions to the, to the Backlash from WrestleMania. So then, he's been... Sean Randy Smith, and he's been... Lisa Roxanne, Sammy Sarsia next week. Ta-ra for now.